Well, I made it off of, I'm at the end of the extraterrestrial highway, and that goes into, it tees into, I think it's called the 193, which is a pretty remote road already. And there is the town where I came from, Alamo. Well, I didn't come from there, but I passed through there. I got gas there. Then there's a town along the way, if I take the left, called Hiko, but I cannot find a gas station there. So I might have to go back like 15 miles round trip, that's 30 miles, to be able to get gas. And then see, even if there is a gas station in Hiko, they might not have diesel. <laughs> so, and uh, my other option is to try to make it all, go, go left, which is where I want to go, and go all the way up to Eli. Oh, doggy slover. Eli or Ellie, whatever it's called. Uh, they have gas up there. Uh, but that is hoping that, you know, there's no crazy hills that are going to deplete my fuel fast or something like that. So it's a little scary. So I'm trying to look at my options. The other thing is too, if I go up through Hiko and hope there's one, and let's say there is one, I still might not be able to get my rig in there. So that's a little freaky. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out uh, which way which way should I go? Weighing my options. Well, I am I'm gonna press my luck. For some reason I like oh wait. Oh it's telling me to go that way. Oh crap, it's not even that road. Wait. We're not getting back on that same road. Oh dang, I guess I'm going on that road. <laughs> Thank goodness for GPS. So I'm going to try to make it. Now let's see. I don't know if I can even take a, a left at that intersection. So I am literally just going to cut across this thing here. I'm pressing my luck. I'm going to head to Eli. It's 141 miles. Maybe it was even 121. And my gas tank says I can go about 240 miles. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that. And uh, there's a uh, Hiko along the way, maybe has gas. There's Lund which I also didn't see gas, but potentials. So here we go. The other thing that I have to deal with is because I freaking tore up my roof and I'm uh, anxious to get tape and uh, replace that cover over the bathroom skylight because there's wood exposed, which, you know, if it rains, it can get all deep into the roof of the RV. I am just going to power through. I'm not going to take two stops to get to Boise. I'm going to try to do one, which means a really long drive today, if I can do it. I'm such a slow driver. You know, I like to take my time. And um, of course, I also like to arrive around 2 or 3 p.m. at the latest. I'll be arriving later if I push it all the way to Wells. So, and then, and then along the way, I need to... Uh, book a week in Boise so tonight I'll stop and do that and if I can then I'm going to mail those parts on Amazon because I've, I've got Amazon Prime right now so I get two day shipping have them shipped out to Boise put them on and then be on my way again I'm freaking out a little bit when I said I had about double the uh, available miles on the fuel amount that I had my miles per gallon was tracked at about 11 but these roads are much more up and down constantly there's like mountains all around and my my average has gone down to 9.4 
But as I'm watching it, watching the live time, it's not at 9.4. It's going down. So my miles right now to the next gas station is 78.1. And the available miles, if I can maintain 9.4, is 97, which I'm not maintaining 9.4. I'm at 5 and 6 going up these hills. So I'm freaking freaked out. I literally might have to, uh, man, the, the tank's just going down. Um, if I get to a quarter, I literally might have to unhook my trailer, lock up the, you know, the pin and leave it and uh, go get gas. Not very excited about that. Well, as I uh, slowly make way, because I am going slower to try to save on gas, I'm realizing that I think I'm out of the southwest. I'm out of the desert. So uh, I'm in White Pine County, Nevada, and it's totally looking different, which is, I, I was envisioning it would be like desert the whole way, but that doesn't make sense. So here we are in like these uh, high grass prairies. The, you know, I've been literally just climbing. I, I'm sure the elevation is much higher than where I started today, this morning. And uh, I think that's why I've had poor uh, luck with gas mileage. But I, have, uh, I haven't gone off of 9.3 average. And I have 66 miles on my current tank. And I only have 45.4 miles to my destination. So I have roughly 20 miles extra if I keep the same pace and, uh, you know, cross my fingers. <laughs> Well, conveniently, I found a spot. Probably could have made it all the way to Eli uh, with some to spare. But I thought I'm just going to get some just in case. That way I don't have to be watching my uh, miles per gallon as I'm driving. So, oh my goodness, what a relief. Here's these guys. I need to use the restroom anyway, and I think they do as well. But man, it's cold. <laughs> I'm getting to the non-desert part of the U.S. and I'm remembering what it's like to feel cold. <laughs> Just made it to Idaho, guys. I was hoping to hang out for a little bit, check out the Twin Falls area. Uh, Twin Falls is just south of Idaho Falls, where I was a couple years ago, and it was beautiful. I just loved it. And, uh, but no, 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 <laughs> I'm going to be zipping on up to Boise because I need to get covers for my uh, things that I need to repair on my roof. So I'm racing to get those. I've already driven through uh, two different rainstorms and last night it rained and I'm seeing rain come into my shower from that skylight. So I do not want any moisture. I'm also getting out of the dry, hum dry, uh, the dry uh, arid environment. <laughs> so I really want to get all that covered up uh, before, you know, the farther I go west in Oregon, it's going to get rainier and rainier. So... 
I'm headed on to Boise. Can't even stay there because everything's freaking booked. So I gotta get past Boise and uh, stay a night in like this park that's on a, a highway exit. <laughs> that they claim they're never full because there's literally nothing there. But it's literally all I could find. Everything's booked. I could park in Walmart if I wanted, but um, I don't want. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, I'll just say I'm, I'm a little weary. I'm tired. You know, if you're going to be traveling full-time, and for the last few years I have done this, book ahead months I'll book six months out which if you do that you guarantee a spot but it also means you can't you're not flexible because then you got to change 18 different reservations after that and uh, you know the further you the closer you get to it the more likely you're not gonna be able to get a spot so uh, it's uh, very frustrating you know driving through this uh, summer destination in the middle of summer and having nowhere to freaking go. It's frustrating. I need a week to stop and like catch up on school and work and I can't. So uh, unless I stay at that, uh, that egg, the highway exit one, <laughs> I, which I can and I might. Well, I found some cheap gas at Walmart, and I was able to get my rig around, which is really convenient. Great thing is I can also go get a box of DEF. I was kind of getting low and thinking, I don't know what's, what city I'll need it in. I'm just going to go buy one. It's so much easier. And uh, there's a Neaters across the way, and I haven't seen Neaters for a while. It's not in all the states. And uh, I have a gift card. <laughs> so uh, lunch is free today. All right, I've made way with my loot. And uh, this is neat, this is half a sandwich. I wonder if they made a mistake, because that seems like a whole sandwich. And uh, they roast their turkey there. <laughs> so the turkey is really fresh and it's like shredded. And then they make all their soups homemade too. So I got uh, Parmesan sausage kale, which sounds really good. And it was just, just dumping rain. I hopefully, uh, hopefully this will be the worst. But today I'll be shopping at Camping World. Mmm. Ooh, that's hot. That's tasty. To get my stuff. And then I guess tonight I can put that on. Ah. <sighs> hanging out at the camping world because I forgot I have uh, a video coming out in about 10 minutes actually now it's uh, like right now and I didn't set it to live premiere to do the live chatting because I didn't know where I would be so I just changed it now so I'm hanging out in the parking lot uh, the video is going to start like right now and uh, live chatting right now to you guys <laughs> how we're in the past Ooh. so uh yeah, you can see, uh, you can barely see, <laughs> you can see me more in the reflection. So I'm trying to hang out inside and see. Since you've enjoyed this video and watched the channel, consider contributing on Patreon. Even just a dollar a month goes a long way in support. Thanks for watching and see you next time.